Hello and welcome to Mystical Adventures. I'm your host, Anne Vivian. Thank you so much for joining me today, tonight, or whenever you're tuning in. In today's show, we're going to be exploring a message from Archangel Metatron. And we're also going to be exploring speaking blessings into being for yourself and others. Exploring your personal story, other people's stories, the power of your words and thoughts to create a positive experience and story in this time-space reality. So I can't wait to share with you all of this information and the message. I just want to remind you that the July Tarot Messages by Sign is up on my YouTube channel, which is called Creative Psyche Studio. Psyche is spelled P-S-Y-C-H-E. So come check that out. It has my intuitive messages for each zodiac sign using tarot and intuition. And I break it up by zodiac sign so I could give you a little bit more personal reading. And that's up on my YouTube channel. I also have some other guided meditations, creative visualization, and shape-shifting, if you'd like to check them out. So let's get to what we're talking about today, which is the power of your perspective, the power of your mind, and the words you use. They're all related, aren't they? And creating your reality. I did creating your reality and helping to bless others and help them co-create their realities as well. I did channel a message, a rather long one, today from Archangel Metatron. I'm excited to share that with you. In case you don't know, Archangel Metatron is an archangel associated with record keeping, the Akashic Records, which is the records of all of us, for all past, present, future lives, all, all of our actions, all of our, all of our experiences. And Archangel Metatron is associated with rulership and governing the Akashic Records, keeping the Akashic Records. So there's a big association with Metatron and memory, communication, records, stories and that is connected with what we're going to be talking about today and he's also <clears throat> excuse me associated with higher knowledge as you can imagine i'm just going to have a sip of water before i share with you this message <clears throat> the power of words this is archangel metatron's message for the week. He's the spirit helper of the week. The spirit helper is the expanded consciousness entity that comes to me to share a message for guidance and hope for the week ahead. So here is the message from Archangel Metatron for this week. Power of words, power of thoughts. You move through life not understanding how rivers and streams of action connect with rivers and streams of thought. Your mind controls your river, and although other people's minds create their own experiences, their rivers, there is a meeting point of the rivers that you and others create. Your job is not to look in the river of the other people for answers. Your job is to create the mystery and joy in your own river but be aware also of the connection and how there is an influence between the two. This is a part of the structure and nature of being human. Your experience is determined by how you create and shape your thoughts first. If you can retrain your mind to embellish that momentum and direct direction you want your life to go in, you're contributing to the positive and helpful directional flow of the river of your life. When you observe someone else's life and see that their waters are flowing more, flowing smoother or in a more pleasing way than yours, it is helpful to notice that and make changes in the current of your thoughts in order to create a better flow for yourself. And this way, their river can influence yours. 
you can also influence someone else's river in a positive way by noticing the potential and blessings that you see for them. And hold this in your mind. Regrets. If you focus your mind on that which you regret, it creates a river of thoughts which contribute to the river of actions and experiences in your life that align with that negative pattern. Choose the words that you use to describe your river, including your past, your present, and your future, so that you contribute to a current and flow that you desire. When you see someone else's river flowing in a way you do not want, accept this and observe this, but also reframe their story in a way that acknowledges the openness and potential of the, of the universe. This opens the potential for blessings in your own life as well as others. The joining of rivers, streams, and rivers joined together to form even more powerful collective rivers and oceans and bodies of water. You can work with the collective energies of these rivers and use the momentum of all the rivers that we are connected to by focusing on that which you admire about the flow of yours and others' rivers and streams. Notice the positive qualities of the collective bodies of water and the collective consciousness and this can help to contribute to the upliftment of your own and others' consciousness and experiences. That was the Spirit Helper message of the week from Archangel Metatron. I felt his energy a few days ago, and he has a very powerful energy to me when I feel him. He, he, he feels like a just wide open, like a book being, being opened, like a wide open space, like a space of large perspective and potential knowledge. And what he was sharing in this channeled message this week very much has to do with what I'm going to talk to you about today. And then I'm going to do a little guided meditation if there is time at the end. So your river, your story, we all have stories or personal myths that are very powerful. We all have the stories that we tell ourselves, that we tell other people about our own journeys and about our identity. And we're often very unconscious. Perhaps you are not. Perhaps you, my lovely viewer, listener, are are conscious and intentional. And of course, no one's perfect. We all have moments of, of unconsciousness. But a lot of folks are unconscious about the, the words and the descriptions and the stories they are telling about themselves, the stories they are telling about other people, the stories they're telling about the world. And the more we can pay attention to the way that we frame things, the way that we're, the perspective that we're choosing, the more we have the power to intentionally emphasize the values and the experiences and the potential that we want to increase. Metatron talked about embellishing the momentum and direction that you want to increase that flow in your river, to increase that current in your river. And it's multidimensional. As we're doing this, we affect other people. There's actually even a school of psychotherapy called narrative therapy. And this is based on some post-structuralism philosophy. And post-structuralism is a philosophy that believes that our language creates our reality, our language, our narrative creates our social reality. It's very fascinating if you, if you Google post-structuralism. And narrative therapy is a very therapeutic, powerful therapeutic approach because it's helping people understand how to use their words to create their reality, how to construct 
your reality by being very intentional about the stories that you tell about yourself, about your life, about the world, about other people. And on a metaphysical level, the stories that you tell, as Archangel Metatron is pointing out, creates a psychic energy and a psychic magnetism that has an effect on you, your impression of yourself, your beliefs and feelings about yourself and others. And it's this flow of energy and vibration that does on the energetic planes, on the inner planes, gain momentum to create our experiences. And the more we can look at how to intentionally choose our stories and our words, our myths, the more we can do that, the more we can create our own reality and help others and help our world to create this beautiful new earth. The, the words, the thoughts, and your story and your reality are all closely linked. We're also influenced by not only our own constructs and stories and myths, we also have collective narratives and myths, both helpful, not helpful. And there's other people's stories about themselves. If you haven't consciously chosen to construct your personal myth, and I'll give you some examples so this will hopefully make sense in a little bit. If you, if you haven't chosen to tell your story in a way that emphasizes your goodness and your worth, then it's very easy to be influenced by others who are perhaps more intentional or even more forceful or loud because you haven't consciously directed that energy. And so you can sometimes automatically, unconsciously take on a way of looking at yourself or the world that is not helpful because other people are more like I said, forceful or intentional around you. And this is a natural human tendency. If we are not very decisive then, and we are not very intentional about our thoughts and our actions, then we are more easily influenced by those who are intentional and confident and have a momentum with their thoughts and beliefs. So take a moment and think about Am I intentional about how I see myself? Am I intentional, intentional about how I talk about my past, my, my present, my future? You can consciously create a positive myth about yourself by reframing events or traits in a positive way. And it also involves changing your perspective on a person or story to emphasize the potentials or positives. It raises your vibration, and when you do this, and when you do this for others and see their story, their past, their present, their future, by emphasizing the potentials and the positives, you're actually adding to a higher vibrational frequency around them, and it's blessing them by, by adding to that psychic momentum. And of course, you are the most powerful creator of your reality. So you're not going to over-influence someone by thinking positive thoughts. In the end, they're the most po powerful creator for their reality and their world. You're the most powerful creator for your world. But this can also add to the, the blessings in their field, in the universe. When we do this, it actually opens up the potential and the psychic energy and the blessings, potential abundance and love and, and joy to come into our experience as well because we're raising our frequency to emphasize a perspective, to include a perspective that is focused on the forward moving, the positive, the, the beautiful parts to appreciate about experience. And when law of attraction, law of vibration like attracts like. So when you're focusing on what there is to admire and appreciate in not only yourself, but others in the world, then you're opening that door for yourself as well as others. 
and this is this is true for the collective as well. A collective example of reframing our collective story is on a lower vibrational level that perhaps is true but not very intentional. The world is a scary place and it feels unpredictable and there's a lot of darkness right now on planet Earth. That may be true, but I also just constructed that rather gloomy reality for myself and emphasized it now didn't I let me reframe that let me retell the story we have been going through shifts and there have been challenges and we as a planet as a global community are making progress I see it in so many ways every day and victorious despite all obstacles we're even stronger after having gone through this last chapter and I can see us expanding and growing and becoming even more connected and joyful and harmonious as we move forward do you see what I did there so that was a collective reframe let me give you an example of a personal narrative reframe all right here's the beginning more truthful but not very not very powerful to create your reality in a positive way story. I grew up in poverty. I don't have as much education as I should. No one was there for me as a child and I'm all alone and I don't know what I'm gonna do. And you can hear in that there's an underlying belief of, I don't have the resources, I need to be successful and the world is against me. Well, that may be true, but you just created that into your reality and you can create a new reality for yourself. You don't need to buy into that truth. There are many truths. And as you emphasize the truths that you want to, now you're creating more of that. So here's the reframe as an example. I had the opportunity to experience lack as a child so that I could appreciate the prosperity I do create in this life even more. I know I will be and am now even more powerful at creating prosperity because I gained more clarity about it and I won't take it for granted. I overcame many obstacles to get the education I did complete and I look forward to completing more. Showing my perseverance. I am self-made, truly independent and triumphant. I have many paths open to me at this time and I am choosing to have fun as I explore all the opportunities and which direction to take. So did you hear the under, underlying beliefs in that story, my friend? I'm empowered, I'm prosperous, I'm competent, I overcame obstacles, I'm resilient. And both stories are true, both stories are telling the truth, but I chose to create that river in the, in the direction, in the current, in the direction that I wanted by emphasizing parts of that story that underscore my positive traits and the potential in the universe. So I'm not denying reality. And it is important, especially if you've had something disturbing or traumatic happen in your past, to face that, work through that, process that, don't ignore it. And sometimes the most powerful healing gesture we can we can make or take is to address that trauma and work with someone to help us process it and move through it um, and be able to use acceptance even forgiveness and so i don't want to encourage you to ignore ignore the truth or to engage in that what, what's going around in in the metaphysical community, the phrase that's going around is toxic positivity. I, I don't want you to ignore your uncomfortable feelings or the truth. It's important to acknowledge the truth. And using the intention, using your intention to create your story with power is a way to not ignore what has happened, what is happening, your challenges what you want to change but it's a way to work with what's there and transform it and to really take the bull by the horns and work with that energy to mold it and co-create intentionally so i want to 
to make sure and make that point that it is important to acknowledge the full range of emotions and experiences and not to ignore it. But sometimes, you know, as you tell your story, you can create, you can include the darkness in your story. You can include the the terror even, the, the despair in the story, but you can use how you see it, your perspective to transform it into a triumphant story. And that's what I'm trying to communicate with you today is don't ignore the challenges in the darkness, but find a way to reframe them that acknowledges your strength, your power, your blessings, your loved one's strength and power and blessings and potential. The world. I'm going to give you one more example. And looks like we're probably not going to have time for that guided meditation today. But here, let me, let me end with this example. So this is an example of helping to, to contribute positively to someone else's story. All right, she is annoying and talks too much. That's, that's the, the first thought. Here's the reframe. You know, I like how she has a lot of ideas. I can see her channeling that to something successful with creative writing or public speaking. She would be fun at a party. She would keep the conversation going. Do you see how I didn't ignore that she's annoying? Or I didn't lie about it, rather. And I didn't lie about how she talks too much. If there is someone who you see has some challenges, who you see is doing something that you don't like, you can emphasize what you do appreciate about them, and you can hold that vision for them. If there's someone you, you love who is struggling, see their story as more than that struggle. See their story, past, present, and future, acknowledging their blessings, their their potential, their support and prosperity and divine help and guidance and creativity. And as you do that, it adds to their potential positive trajectories and paths and vibration around them. And it opens that, that same doorway for love and joy and prosperity for you. It helps contribute to their healing and growth. And again, that doesn't mean you have to ignore when someone is doing something you don't like. You don't have to be their best friend or, or try and pretend that that's not happening. But, but as you shift your perspective, it can help raise the vibration for everyone. So we're coming to the end of the show. I want to thank you again so much for tuning in, my friend. Think about your own myths. Choose those thoughts and words carefully as you create your story as you think about your past your present and your future and to choose them carefully as you create stories for the people around you and this world and as we do this we are contributing to this beautiful positive new ascension on this lovely planet i hope you have a beautiful blessed week and may metatron guide you and protect you and bless you and your angels and guides and divine source as well and I look forward to seeing you next show. Namaste.